This is being recorded right after the episode of me battling the last two final Elite Fours, Bruno and what's her name? The Dark Type member. And so now we're going to take on Lance. Everyone's healed up. Everyone has their item. Yeah. There's no way Ruby's going to be used. Gyarados. She could take a waterfall from Gyarados, but other than that, she's not going to be used. If it comes down to that, sadly, I would give her a citrus berry. Maybe see if there's something as a teacher if it comes down to that. I don't think it's going to come down to that. I did this before the lantern. And I beat his whole team. I've been waiting for you. Andy. I knew that you with your skills would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who's the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I lance the Dragon Master accept your challenge. I could have gave Volt the Shell Bell. But I think the Nevermelt Ice was probably better. To power up Ice Beam. Okay, this Gyarados has Waterfall, Dragon Pulse, and Frow. And something else, I don't remember. Ice Fang. So the plan is going to stockpile first. Do free stockpiles. And then, after I do the free stockpiles, I would do Thunderbolt. Because you could use stock for, stockpile for free turns. Okay. One more stockpile. And then we're going to Thunderbolt. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Okay. Go ahead and heal up. It's always good to be safe just in case it's a critical hit. Gonna be safe just in case it's a critical hit. Okay. Time for a thunderbolt. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Come on. His Aerodactyl has Thunder Fang, but that would heal me because of Volter's Sword, so. Which one is this? Fire Blast. This one has Fire Blast. Yeah, the level 51, I'm pretty sure it's the one with Fire Blast. I gotta heal you. I 
I have to heal you. Okay, I gotta heal. Gotta heal. So far, we're doing good. I'm gonna just go for the thunderbolt. It's stab and it's I think I gonna have Eevers, I just didn't wanna run out of ice beams. Want to save some make sure I save enough ice beams. But I realize I have Eevers and stuff. Just to be safe, healing one more time. The stock part has really helped. Because that dragon, the dragon rush and stuff, would have done probably a whole lot more. But using um, stockpiles three times really helped. That's why I did not use Shelly. Because that would have been super effective to her being a part of ice. And Thunderfang will also be super effective. But me, Black, well, Volt having Volt Absorb, it would be healing. So, yeah. Like when you stunned away, but it healed me up. It was fold up, which was all. <laughs> it was a stupid move for Lance. He has too many forward stores. Two mini full restores. This has only been nine minutes long. Yeah, it feels like it's been hours. Finally. Well, we are going to cancel. This is episode 33. Man, this has been very long. Most of the episodes were just like... 
evolutions. We're just like training and showing evolutions and stuff. And so silver and all the original silver and gold are just pretty long because there's so much storyline. Especially with there being where you go to Kanto and all that. Just so much storyline. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Ah, oh, Andy, it's been a long while. You current certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your determined dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding, too. Because they believe in you as a trainer, they persevere. Congratulations, Andy. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Andy, could you come with me? Oh wait, we haven't done the interview. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commend the League Champions for all eternity. The courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today we witness the rise of a new League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward where all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeds through perseverance and determination. The new league champion who has all the marking, makings of greatness. Andy, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. It's basically like you're at a Pokemon Center and your Pokemon being healed. Volt! Level 51. Ruby. Level 50. This team survived. And this time, my starter made it all the way to the Elite Four. <laughs> well, made it to victory in the Elite Four and then get killed in the Elite Four. Like, <clears throat> Typhlosion Lion first to the Wet Lock of this. I don't even know who Typhlosion was paired up with again. I forgot. Oh, Typhlosion was paired up with a Noctile. But my starter it was paired up with a Noctile. Yeah, because Typhlosion got my first encounter for when I got a partner for Typhlosion. turned out to be a Hoot Hoot. And that Hoot Hoot made it all the way to the Elite Four. But when I did the Elite Four in that one, they got destroyed. Against Bruno. Because I was using my Noctile against them. I forgot what her name was. And both of them were weak to Onyx. But in this case, we had... In this case, we had Meganium, who can take down Onyx. At first, wasn't so happy about using Chikorita. I don't hate Chikorita. I just, i never been a fan of using the grass type starters. I used the Chikorita before, but I never really chose it as a starter. It was like an Aorus when you beat the game, you get to have like a, um, a Universe starter, then you get the Johto starters, then you get the Kanto starters. And all that. That's why I had the chicken either. And I used it for a little bit.
the series will end at red. And I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do against red. For, even for a regular Let's Play, it took me forever to beat red. Forever. I played this game so many times as just a regular playthrough as a Nuzlocke and a Wetlock. And then eventually I decided, you know what, I'm going to record a Wetlock of this. Maybe I should just record a Wetlock of this one day. And I decided to finally do it instead of just playing it all the time as on my own. I decided to finally make a video series of it on YouTube. Like right now, I'm doing a wet lock of um, Pokemon White. No, Pokemon Black. Or is it White? I don't remember. I know I have Black too, but I don't know if I have Black or White. The very first one. I think it was White though. Yeah, it was White because Zekrom's my favorite, so I got White. I still haven't decided what my next series will be after I finish this. I'm still doing Alpha Sapphire. Which I haven't recorded an episode of that yet. I've been working on Soul Silver because we've been doing Soul Silver for a long time. And now we're finally going to Kanto. I might record another episode of this today or not. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Professor L. We're not, and we're gonna go to the ship. We're going to at least make our way to the ship, the SS, whatever it's called. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Professor Elm told me that he has something to give you. We're at least going to do that. But end in the, we're going to end the episode off on the ship to Kanto. And then the next episode, we do all the trainers and battles on that ship. I never did get a new bike encounter, did I? No, it doesn't matter. I got enough Pokemon. I guess I can change their items around. Ruby can keep the citrus berry. Let me change the Pokemon around. Now oh, don't worry, Ruby. You're gonna get your chance to be shown. I love Sunflower. That seems cool. She just wasn't any really good at the Elite Four. Well, she... Okay. She could have done good against Onyx, but I wasn't going to use Volt against that person. So that's why she didn't get a chance to do anything. But Cuba did, so. And Cuba didn't even gain a level against that Onyx. <laughs> that pair is still level 50. Did they gain any levels? Shut up, Oak. Shut up, Oak. Did they? No. They didn't. 
Apparently, Bruno does not give experience. He does, but he did not give us a lot of experience for them to even get a level. Fault, Shelly, and Nate got levels. One level. Maybe because they actually did the whole battle by themselves. That's probably why. They did the whole battle by themselves. Bruno had something that was good against someone that was super effective against him. He had rock type moves. That's what it was. This is where we're ending the episode at. They gotta end the episode right here. Finishing talking to this guy, we end the episode there. The little girl's missing. Yep, this is the perfect spot to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Because I sure did. It was very exciting, battling Lance. This was... But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like.